could hear your footsteps. Welcome back. So tell me what you know about the statue of Zeus. Its great boat stood ready to punish the Kefalonians below. Or so I was told. There are many statues to Athena. Which one do you mean? In my mind, there is only one. Her story always began. As we rounded the hilltops, we could see Athens bustling below us, and Athena above, matching our gaze. The Acro Corinth? Don't tell me. It's in Corinthia. Smart guess. It is the most renowned temple to. Aphrodite, your goddess of all life's most pleasurable trivialities. You did say Mount Aivietos, didn't you? You sound like you know that place. I have heard tales of its appetites. They say the mountain feeds on the suffering of Spartans, so the people there offer their own children to the mountain god for sacrifice. That... Uh... That's not exactly right. What do you remember about this armored bird in Arcadia? There's a beast made of armor jutting out from the mountainside, overlooking Lake Stymphalos and the undulating fields, stretching like waves on a golden sea all across Arcadia. I've seen Kefalonia from the statue of Zeus. Tell me. Is it still a place of great beauty? Its people are the happiest in all the Greek world. They sing and dance into the night with full bellies and full hearts. That isn't how it was described to me at all. The tales go that its lands are among the world's most beautiful and its people among the most pitiful. Okay, I've told you what I remember. Now tell me about yourself. What's a Persian doing here? Persia and the Greek world are doomed to be opposites. In times of prosperity here, Persians always seem to suffer. And when you're at war with yourselves... Persians no peace? Indeed. My people prospered after King Xerxes was murdered. All except for me. A man tried to kill me with poison, which is how I lost my sight. I fled and arrived here. I find it hard to believe anyone would want you dead. You're very kind. Tell me another tale, then I'll tell you more of my past. You'll be glad to know I've been to the statue of Athena. Ah, if only I could have been there to feel your presence. Would you describe her to me? If Athens is a city of statues, then Athena is their guardian. She stands high above everything, on guard over the city. Yes, not just standing tall to protect Athens, but to serve as a reminder of the suffering those poor people endured during the invasion. Your turn to tell me something. You said a man tried to kill you. The man who rose up to kill the tyrant Xerxes. He was of a new creed of killers. Unlike any Persia had known, he was also the man hired to kill me. A killer of kings hired to kill a simple blind man. Why? I have your interest, do I? Take a tale, and I will too. I've traveled to the Acrocorinth. From there, I could see all of Corinthia. Ah, 
I can only wonder at what the worshippers of Aphrodite do to pay her tribute. The Aterra keep the spirit of Aphrodite alive, usually well into the night. Exactly as your goddess deserves. When I was younger, I'd lie awake dreaming of what it would be like to go worship, of course. Now that's out of the way, you owe me a tale. You said the king killer Darius was hired to kill you too? He was. By my brother. Your brother? None of this is making any sense, old man. I trust you. So I will tell you, my brother and I are the last living sons of King Xerxes. Impossible. That would make you a king. I was. My name was Artaxerxes. I guided Persia through a time of peace. But my brother wanted the throne and plotted my death. Now, I hide here, exiled, living the life of a simple beggar. I will tell you more, but first... Yes, yes, a tale for a tale. I return to Mount Aegatos. Did you meet the mountain god who devours Spartan children? The mountain is just a mountain like any other. What makes Taigetos a place of suffering is the people there. That is true of all the world's worst places. When I was a child, I could tell from the moment I met you that you carried the burden of suffering. Let it stay in the past. Now you tell me, King Artaxerxes. How can I believe your story? You don't exactly look like royalty. <laughs> well, that's the point. I am hiding. Show me proof. I could. You see, I knew a man named Themistocles. The Athenian general. I heard stories about him being ostracized from Athens. All the petty politics. He came to Persia to me, looking for refuge. I was king, but only a boy. He spent his days learning Persian and telling me stories of his home. Places like the Acrocorinth, Mount Taigetos. The places you wished you could see. I loved the tales and loved Themistocles like a father. He was kinder to me than Xerxes ever was. Tell me one last tale, and I'll tell you why he hid his treasure. If you'd like to hear about the bird, I could describe it to you. The great bird with metal feathers attacked me. I fought it off with my bare hands. Ah, you did? So you fought it just like Heracles? I'd heard the statue was built to guard a place of chaos and calm. So, I've been to the five places the Mistocles told you about in his tales. For that, my soul will be eternally grateful. As for my tale, Themistocles died peacefully in Persia. There's one of us. I promise him I'd see the places he told me about. His stories will live on in me. And now you. And what of your story? I let the people believe Darius succeeded in killing me. So I could escape. Artaxerxes, there's something else you should know. Yes? My grandfather was Leonidas of Sparta. That means... Your father, King Xerxes, killed my grandfather. Then you are bound by blood to avenge him. 
Arshak Xerxes, false king. This Mythios led me right to you. Time to finish what I started. Alexios, please. Stand behind me. Artaxerxes, are you hurt? Despite being bound by honor to avenge Leonidas, you saved me. Thank you. I had no choice. That man wanted you dead. Must have been another one of your executioners. It was. If he doesn't return to Persia, my brother will send another. Then another. It's time this old man accepts his fate. Sure, you could give up. Or you could sail home, kill your brother, and take back your kingdom. I spent my entire life undoing my father's work. I won't end my life becoming him. As for you, that is the matter of your payment. Well, I did save your life, and I went on an adventure for you, your highness. You did? Though, much of what you said is not how I remember Themistocles telling it. Things change? Ah, we approve of that, aren't we? Now, for Themistocles' treasure, find the tomb in Salamis where he made his triumphant stand against my father's navy. That's where your reward awaits. Thank <laughs> you.